This is Norbury Park Farm Dairy, near Dorking in Surrey, where Michaela and Neil, the only cheesemakers in Surrey, have created two very special cheeses, Norbury Blue and Dirty Vicar. Norbury Park Farm has a closed herd of around 80 head of Frisian cattle, and they come in for milking twice a day. Not all of their milk is turned into cheese, however. The typical life cycle of a cheese from milking to full maturity is about eight weeks. And this is how it is made. The dairy is separate from the milking parlor to keep it clean. And the milk is pumped in to fill the 900 liter vat. The milk is unpasteurized and it has a high level of buttermilk, a mixture from both the morning and the afternoon milkings. Once filled, the milk is cooled and left to settle overnight. Early the next morning, the milk in the vat is heated to a working temperature for the culture to be added and mixed in. This culture is what gives the blue cheese its distinctive flavor, texture, and of course its blue color. About an hour later, the vegetarian rennet is added, which separates the curds from the whey, a process which takes about another 50 minutes. Once a month, Norbury Park Farm plays host to visitors from neighbouring Denby's Wine Estate for their cheese and wine-making experience day visit, where Michaela and Neil take the visitors through the rest of the cheese-making process, explaining the workings of the farm and the dairy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the curd, right, and that's when you'll start to see it sinking so you get your curds and whey. By now, the vat of milk has set, a bit like a large tub of yoghurt. The wire frame cuts through and helps to separate the curds from the whey. As they separate, the whey can be drawn off before the curds are set in the moulds. It's not crucial, it's not like when you're making a cheddar type cheese, you have to make sure you cut the curd a certain size. Now the curds are cut, they have to be separated from the whey by stirring the vat before the curds are set in the moulds. Not all the whey will be separated at this stage, but once in the moulds, it will drain away as the new batch of cheese begins to harden. Once the curds have settled, the whey is drawn off and is reused to fertilize the fields. The curds are placed in the molds and left to drain for 24 hours before they are turned and salted. The newly formed cheeses are kept in a warm and humid environment until the culture begins to work, easily seen by the appearance of the signature blue in the cheese. Now is the time to take the cheeses into the maturing room, where they will remain for about six to eight weeks to ripen. <laughs> <laughs> 